Well, welcome back and we are continuing our partnership with Women and Children's First. As you can see, our local shelter for women and children and going through domestic violence. And we want to once again bring awareness to sexual assault since April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And I want to start with a couple of signs that you can watch for in a relationship or in someone's life. That could be risk factors for potential violence. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is according to the National Sexual Violence Resource Center risk factors. Well, they are set behaviors or conditions that increase the risk for sexual violence perpetration. So family environment characterized by physical violence and conflict. Another one, emotionally unsupportive family environment, poor parent child relationships, also association with sexually aggressive, hypermasculine and delinquent peers. General aggressiveness and acceptance of violence are another signs to watch for and uh, hairnets to traditional gender role norms and to wrap this up when it comes to risk factors, hyper masculinity and lack of empathy. So these are a couple risk factors that you need to be aware of when you are kind of in a relationship and maybe some red flags. And like I said, we really want to bring awareness, awareness to this to help you prevent yourself in a harmful situation. Now I want to share some protective factors. And when I say protector, protective, these are the behaviors or conditions that reduce or at least buffer against the risk for sexual violence perpetration. So I'm going to start with connection and commitment to a school. That's a great thing to have in somebody's life. Connection with a caring adult and affiliation with pro-social peers. Uh, as we take a look at the next set, emotional health and connectedness and empathy and concern for how one's actions affect others. Once again, these are some incredible signs to look for in relationships that kind of give you the green light of feeling comfortable about moving forward. Now, we're bringing all this up in partnership with Women and Children's First. Once again, I am a person that has literally been saved by this program being a member of the shelter as well now board member so anything when it comes to your needs out there i ask y'all to go to womenandchildrenfirst.org a lot of information is there hotlines if you're in a situation and you need some help there's always going to be someone there to pick up the phone and take care of you 